Welcome back to True Host Academy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update WHMCS. If you're managing a hosting business, keeping WHMCS up to date is critical for security, performance, and new features. Let's dive into the process step by step. 1. Prepare to update. Before you start the update, don't skip the preparation step. It's crucial for a successful upgrade. Here's what you need to do. Check the release notes and system requirements. Make sure your system meets the necessary conditions. Verify your customizations. If you've made changes to core WHMCS files, take note of them now. Test on a separate environment. It's always a good idea to test the update before applying it to your live site. Perform a full backup. This includes both your files and your database, just in case anything goes wrong. To use the automatic updater, ensure your system meets these requirements. PHP memory limit of at least 128 MB. 250 MB of free disk space. PHP settings. Allow underscore URL underscore FOPEN enabled. Max underscore execution underscore time set to at least 60 seconds. And the PHP zip extension or proc underscore open function enabled. The open underscore baser setting must include your entire WHMCS document route. Once you've checked these off, you're ready to proceed. 2. Perform the update check for updates. WHMCS automatically checks for updates every day. But if you want to check manually, Go to Utilities, Update WHMCS, enter your admin password and click Check Now. If an update is available, you'll see a message confirming it. If not, double check your update channel settings. Update Now, click Update Now, confirm the WHMCS version you'll be updating to. Download a database backup when prompted. If you've customized any core files, make sure you copy them before proceeding. Customizations will be overwritten during the update. Click Begin Update. The process should take between 20 and 60 seconds. If the update is successful, you'll get a confirmation message. If anything goes wrong, refer to WHMCS documentation for troubleshooting. 3. Verifying the upgrade after the update completes. It's important to ensure everything is working properly. Test key features such as logging in, viewing products, submitting tickets, and placing new orders. Monitor the system health alerts and configuration system. Health for the next 24 hours to catch any potential issues. 4. Set the update channel. The update channel control which updates you receive, by default you should set this to stable for the most reliable updates. To configure your update channel, go to Utilities Update WHMCS. Click Configure Update Settings in the top right corner. Choose the update channel that best suits your needs and click Save Changes. 5. Set a maintenance message. To keep your admins informed while the update is running, you can display a maintenance message. Go to Utilities Update WHMCS. Click Configure Update Settings. Enter your message in the maintenance message box and click save changes. 6. Set the temporary update path. During the update process, WHMCS stages files in a temporary directory. You'll need to specify a writable path for this directory. Create a directory outside the public document root, similar to your attachments or downloads folders. Make sure PHP can write to this directory. Go to Utilities, Update WHMCS, and click Configure Update Settings. Enter the path to your temporary directory and click Save Changes. By following these steps, you can safely update your WHMCS installation and keep your system running smoothly. If you run into any issues, don't hesitate to inquire in the comment section below. Thank you for watching True Host Academy. Ciao!